Hey mate, welcome back to the channel. Haven't had a ride in a couple of days, so uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Let's head off to Ogden Skate Park. Oh, g'day mate, how are ya? The one thing I forgot to do was check the weather. I had put my pads on, I bailed out of the house, and I didn't even check the weather. Got to Ogden, and it's completely satched. Righto, I'm gonna teach you the absolute basics. One of the first tricks you can do in BMX is just pick up your bike. I know it sounds silly, but there's a fun way of doing it. You gotta stomp on the tire really hard, almost all your effort. That might not even be considered a trick, but that is so fun to do. You just smash on the back tire as hard as you can and it helps if you have a peg on one side or at least have your pedal leaning on the ground so it has a little bit of leverage. All right, trick number two. So what I'm gonna teach you is called a bump jump. It's easier than a bunny hop. You just put no pressure on the back wheel, be very light on your bike so you don't get a pinch flat tire, but you're just gonna bump jump the curb. Got a little slight angle. I'm gonna say this is a 30 degree angle right here. The key to doing a bump jump is just going slow at it and just lifting your front wheel up right before it. It doesn't matter the speed you go or anything, just it's easier than a bunny hop. Easier, much easier. The only difference between a wheelie and a manual is one you're going to pedal and a manual you're going to pump the bars. You're going to pump it, pump it, pump it. Pull up, shoulder straight, you're going in a straight line. Very simple trick. A wheelie, a wheelie, a wheelie is much easier than a manual because all you got to do is pedal. It's just pedal pressure and lift up the back wheel, sit behind that seat, get your weight down and then just keep pedaling. The more you pedal, the further you'll go. I would save the wheelie for the streets because in a skate park, you don't really want to be doing wheelies and pedaling around the park. Skate parks, you more want to be pumping, using just momentum. So now comes the manual. A manual is a wheelie, but without pedaling. And all you're going to do is use your balance and just pump with your knees and just kind of gradually push forward. Ooh. Keep my arms locked, or pretty locked, and just be pumping with my knees. Constantly looking up, not down, because you'll keep dropping it. Look up and just move forward. Just keep it going forward no matter what. Yeah, buddy. With wheelies, manuals, hang fives, you want to be practicing these quite often. It's something that I try and do every day or anytime I'm riding my bike and it does get easier and easier the more you do it. Just practice, practice, practice. Don't be a weekend warrior, okay? Get yourself a big wheel bike. This is a Throne. It's got 29 inch wheels where mine have 20 inch. It has a much shorter back end so it's harder to find that balance point. But on these, a little bit longer back end but it's really the wheel size.
But this is my favorite hop to do. It's called a nolly, a nolly hop. So we'll set it up. So now all I'm gonna do is pick up my back wheel first and then front wheel. So it's the complete opposite of a kangaroo hop. Pick up the back wheel first and then front wheel. So I'll nolly over this curb. So the next time you go to the skate park and it's soaking wet like mine, practice those basic, basic tricks and then uh, should be dry enough to have a bit of a pedal around. So let's go have a warm up, eh? Make sure you wear your skid lid. Still a little bit wet, but we'll find some lines for sure. Before we get into the riding, I just want to thank Davey Smith at GoPro for sending me a Hero 8. I am so pumped to be able to ride again. Might be hard to see, but I got a cracked screen and I was holding it in my mouth and I've chipped me tooth. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a good little chip in me tooth, but thanks Davey, I'm back in action. So using this guy as a backup, see if it still works. I forgot how hard it is to breathe out of the nose. When I'm holding this in my mouth, whew, she's a struggle to breathe. Oh, gotta get used to this again. All right, lap two. As soon as the park dried up, about three scooter riders, a couple of skateboarders just showed up. So I'm gonna eat me breakfast, slice pears, and then I'll get back into some more tricks. But mate, that's crazy, as soon as it cleared. Back into it. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry. Had a pretty fun ride at Ogden Skate Park, but too many little kids showed up. They started snaking me, so I was out of there. But um, good time, so now I'm gonna head to South End Surf Shop, pick up some t-shirts. Some tie-dyeing. Yeah, South End. This is 
where life gets serious. Being out in public. Ugh. G'day, mate. Whoa, there he is. Yeah. Whoa. How are you? What up? I'm here for t shirts. Let's do it, duo. Good to see you. Alright, come on, let's do it. Yeah. How's it going? Good, buddy, good. 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 Say, oh man, they're gonna get you, they're gonna get you. Bleach dye, you want these? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. And then you know I can do bleach dye like red or purple. I say just do like... Do bleach dye. So they're 72. Okay. 72. Okay, cool. Right? Done. What did you text me? All right guys, back home now. Had a good fun ride this morning at Ogden. And now I'm just going to eat some lunch and get into some tie-dye t-shirts. Yeah! So back home now, going to enjoy a load of potato soup. Had a fun session at Oregon Skate Park. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, tell a friend, tell a mate, and uh, I'll get back into it tomorrow. So probably Greenfield or Carolina Skate Park tomorrow. You guys have a good one. Yeah, buddy! <laughs>